The sky is normally a symbol of freedom and reaching the impossible. Now birds and supermen may have the perks of soaring the sky, but a pilot also has that luxury. Join me as we saw the skies whilst taking a look at a career of being a pilot. An airline pilot is responsible for the safe and economic operation and management of aircraft carrying passengers and freight. They make sure that all the controls of the aircraft are working properly, check weather conditions and liaise with the traffic control. A pilot is responsible for pre-flight preparation, filing the flight plan and calculating the fuel required, taking into consideration passenger and cargo loads. They are the people that liaise with operations control staff, engineers and cabin crew and check that the aircraft and its systems are prepared for departure. I personally think that one of the most exciting things about being a pilot is the traveling involved and meeting different people from around the globe and experiencing the different lifestyles and cultures the world has to offer. Kotoage, enough of my daydreaming. Let's find out more about the exciting career path of being a pilot. Pilots fly aircrafts of all sizes, transporting passengers and cargo across the country and around the world. They're responsible for the safety of the airplane, its passengers, the crew and any cargo on board. A senior certificate with maths and science are required for enrollment at a flying school. Although flying does not involve much physical effort, pilots are subject to stress and must always be alert to make decisions quickly, must be able to work under constant pressure because they're responsible for the safety of their aircraft, passengers and cargo. Pilots can be employed by major airlines. Private aviation companies will also own helicopters and the military. You start with a private pilot's license, mm -hmm. then you go over to a commercial pilot's license, and then lastly, an airline transport pilot's license. Mm, okay. okay, how long does it take you to get those? Six months to a year to get your private pilot's license, depending on your, the time you have and the amount of money you have. Then do you climb maybe matric or any varsity studying? Or there's, no, there's no varsity. You can, you can come straight out of school uh -huh. and you can study to be a pilot. There are seven subjects for private pilot license, okay. eight subjects for comm license, and then six subjects for the the airline transport pilot's license. But is it necessary to have geography specifically as a no. subject? You don't have to have geography. It's just a bonus. Mathematics you must have. If you don't have a basic concept of mathematics and you want to go to the top level of flying, you're going to have a problem. Okay, so then is it like, and what about the finances if you wanted to study? Finances, uh, it is expensive to fly. There are many different routes to take if you want to learn to fly. But one must remember if you want to make a living or make it your career, it's basically the same as going to university. So university costs you hundreds of thousands of rands. To, to reach the, the level where you are an employable pilot, it's going to cost you hundreds of thousands of rands. To start off with, your PPL, your private pilot's license, is going to work out between, say, 50 and 70,000 rand. So then I've seen a lot of different airplanes, some small, some big. So then are there different air, um, aircraft to making stunts and just being commercial and all those? Oh, each aircraft is designed for a certain criteria. Mm -hmm. It'll be designed for to carry passengers, it'll be designed to as a pleasure aircraft, as an aerobatic aircraft. So it, it depends what you want to do. I've seen that they travel at different altitudes. How do they communicate with the person at the radio station or wherever for help maybe or for something else? Um, yeah, when, you, when you're climbing, if you're in Clarkstop, it's not controlled airspace. Controlled airspace is where you have somebody sitting in a tower mm -hmm. and they'll speak to you and say, you're allowed to do this and you can go there and you can do that. And you will ask them permission to do whatever you want to do. Clarkstop is what we call uncontrolled. So we all we pick up the radio and we, we, we tell the people over the radio what your intention is. I will say, I'm going to take off now and I'm going to fly to Slovendane. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the air will hear yeah, that I'm going to take off now and fly to Slovendane. So they know where I am and they know what I'm going to do. You right. see? When you get to controlled airspace, the controller will tell you what to do. He will tell him, I want to fly into your area. What do you want me to do? In simple terms. And then he'll say, right, I want you to fly to the water tower and wait there or fly from the water tower to the next okay. point. Okay, so what's your... Best experience to date since you've started this business? There have been many good experiences, I mentioned, but uh, one of the most satisfying experiences was building my own aircraft. It took me three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And once, once I'd built it, I'd, I'd flown it all over the country. 
Yeah. And that's been great. It's been lovely. The other, the other good experience was taking part in the aerobatic competitions in South Africa. Oh, yeah. uh, I fly aerobatics as well, and that, that to me is a major adrenaline and rush. It's lovely. One of the core responsibilities of a pilot is to make sure that the passengers that are on the plane arrive safely to their destinations. This responsibility can also put them in a high salary bracket. An average pilot earns up to 110,000 rands to 1.1 million rands per annum or year, which means that per month a pilot can earn anything between 9,000 to 90,000 rands. There are two main paths when choosing to go into this career you can decide to become either a military or a civilian pilot. The military path has always been a popular career avenue for many commercial airline pilots because they are highly trained with a track record of success. Whichever one you decide to go into with this career, it requires you to be highly skilled. Kumbulage Ogotif pilots are only usually promoted into other higher ranking flying positions. Many younger pilots start out as flight instructors and start flying charter planes as they acquire experience and log hours of flight time. They can move on to flying corporate jets for company fleets. In commercial airline jobs, promotions are typically in title and rank only. Certainly not a bad thing as they usually come with more money and better compensation packages. Manja again, let's take a look at what an average day in the life of a pilot looks like. Today we're going to be doing the simulator and then later on we're going to be doing the flying. Okay, so first of all we're going to be moving over to the simulator where HB is waiting for you guys. Okay, so Pee yeah. this is what we call the control wheel of the aircraft. This is what we use to, to either roll or pitch the aircraft up and down. Okay. Alright, this is our power lever, that's what we use to increase or decrease the engine power going forward. Okay, yeah. and what we have at the bottom at, at, um, with your feet, that is what we call the rudder pedals. Okay, okay, now at the top of the rudder pedals, that is what we call the, if we push there, that is the brakes. Uh -huh. And if we just shift our feet left and right, yeah. okay, that is the rudder. That okay. controls the tail of the aircraft. Okay. okay, now for now, I selected auto rudder. So I want you to move your feet just a little bit back. Okay, okay. and then just keep them still. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to on pause now. I want you to put your, uh, your left hand on the control wheel there. I want you to put your other hand on the throttle lever there. I'm going to unpause. What we are going to do, I'm going to unpause. I'm going to tell you to increase the power. Keep this uh, level like it is okay. there. Okay. And then when I tell you, we're at 60 miles an hour or 60 knots, slowly going to start to rotate the aircraft to let it climb. Take a little bit. We can see that the aircraft now climbs. All right. Yeah. And all those indications will be shown on um, on your cockpit there. All right. We can see that uh, our altitude is increasing, the vertical speed yeah. and the artificial horizon is showing us we are actually climbing the aircraft. Okay. okay. Now you can just feel what it does. If you want to roll a uh, little bit to the right, roll it a little bit to the right. Yeah. So when you're in adverse weather or bad weather, yeah. you can't see where you're going. This is a good indication to tell you what your aircraft's attitude is in relation to the horizon. Okay. All right. Okay, so if we had weather there, we wouldn't be able to see what's going on. But now we know the aircraft is banked to the left. Okay. Okay. And here we can see that the aircraft is still climbing. And that shows us there on the, on the altimeter as well. We are now about 1,600 feet above mean sea level. We are Cape Town now. <laughs> All right, you can see the mountains there. This is the horizontal stabilizer. This part here. This is the elevator. Okay. This is the vertical stabilizer and a rudder. Okay, this is obviously to make the aircraft what we call yaw, okay, or to steer it on the ground. The elevator makes it go up and makes it go down. We just check and make sure that everything's fine, that there's nothing loose, and we walk around the entire airplane having a look that everything is tied up. This is over here. There's a tank in each wing. So it's not part of the no, no, it's not there. There's a tank here and there's a tank on the other side. Can you see the color of the fuel? It's bluish, eh? We smell it. It smells like petrol. It's not water. Okay? We throw it away. We go check the other one. Right, so that's the fuel check. Jump in there. Right. Yeah, this is, the, this is a primer. Just primes it like a choke. And we've primed it now, we've closed the mixture, this is the throttle. This is the throttle, here's the starter, I apply the brakes. What do you think this is? The handbrake? The hand no, it's the flaps. Oh. The flaps that go on the wings. You see? Perfect 
You're flying like an ace, champ. Like an ace. Nice and soft. There you go. That's it. You did it. High five. My man. Umangabe, when you'd like to fly to new heights and become a pilot, it is recommended to take maths and physical sciences to metric. Other recommended subjects would include geography and English. After metric, there are numerous places that you could consider going to to become a pilot. These include Fly Margate, Lanzaria Flight Training, 43 Air School and SEFTA amongst many others. Remember that it is important to train from the bottom up in this career. So you'll need to start flying much smaller charter planes before stepping into that Boeing 747. So if being a pilot is what you want, then you need to have the ability to understand technical detail, to think quickly and make decisions and work calmly under pressure. You need to be confident and be able to keep others calm. It is also very, very important that you are physically fit and you should have an excellent hand-eye coordination. Most importantly, you need to have a high degree of leadership and know how to work within a team as you have many people's lives in your hands. Kumbula Geogutse pilot's work environment is not the same as other careers. A pilot gets to travel to different places around the world. This then means that you will hardly be at home. Ama working hours ako required for a pilot is to work irregular work patterns and unsociable hours including weekends and public holidays, often through the night on overseas trips. This is a very demanding job and concentration is needed at all times. Another really important factor that you need to keep in mind is that being on a flight can be really dangerous and accidents can occur unexpected. You really need to have patience and be a fast thinker in order to handle your working environment. As much as this is a challenging career, you as the pilot are the closest to the heavens. So if being a pilot is your dream, then go for it and remember that the sky will never be your limit.